Hi. In this video, I want to show you how to use GHDL as a simulator in Sigasi. For whatever reason, they refuse to implement direct support for GHDL, even though it's not that much work, especially considering that they are clearly capable of using GHDL, as some of their other blog posts show. Anyways, in the light of this, I decided to write a wrapper to make GHDL look like Mentor's model sim, so that GHDL can be used for instant code checking and simulation in Sigasi, just like any other simulation tool on this planet. The tool is by no means a full wrapper for ModelSim, nor can it even provide the full functionality, but the subset that is used by Sigasi should work. Note that at the time of recording this video, the wrapper is still in the alpha phase and probably contains a ton of bugs, but I'll see to get rid of them as time passes by. The program is currently only available for Linux and possibly for Mac. I don't have a Mac, so I cannot verify that. It can be found on GitHub. I'll post the link to the repository in the video description. But before I go into building and installing the program, I will show you that and how it works in Sigasi. So let's switch over to Sigasi here. I created a simple test design, simply consisting out of a counter and a FIFO. The FIFO, by the way, is a lattice semiconductor IP core to show that the program also supports vendor libraries. Data is constantly pushed into the FIFO, but only read every 16 cycles, which will eventually make it overflow. You'll see the simulation in a few seconds. But now, first to demonstrate the automatic syntax tracking, I'll just make a simple mistake. In this case, I'll change the size of this vector to 8 down to 0, which will co uh, cause it to be too big. And as you can see, an error occurred. If we go into the problems list down here, we can see that actually the error was detected. Actual length does not match the formal length. Interesting to note here is this error is not detected by Sigasi itself. It's detected by the Excel compiler. It says VCOM, but of course it's wrapped to GHDL. Um, you can also see here external compiler problem. So it does indeed work. A Sigasi detected problem would be a VHDL problem. Uh, these warnings can be ignored, by the way, they're just from the latter libraries. Also, if I double click the error message, you can see a cursor jumps right to the point where it detected the error. In this case, it's the assignment from this Q port, which has a, oops, which has a size of 7 down to 0 to the 5 out, which is 8 down to 0, which is the error. So you can see, oh, OK, I went wrong here. And you can correct it. So after fixing the problem, you can see the error disappeared. This means we can now go ahead and simulate the design. Uh, we do this as we usually do by clicking on the little play button over here. As you can see, after a few moments, a window pops up asking you for how long to simulate. In this case, let's just leave this number in and simulate for 10 microseconds. After we hit OK, as you can see, GTK Wave automatically opens and we can see our simulated design. Very nice feature of the wrapper is that it also automatically restores the last state or last save state of GTK Wave. This means your wave config, markers, and all other config is loaded immediately each time you reopen a project. So now let's just go ahead and put this side by side with Sigasi because I want to show you how to make changes and how to uh, reload the waves then. All right, now let's make a change to the code. For example, let's say we want to change the time between requests, which is at the moment around about 160 nanoseconds to less as the moment it's every 16 cycles. So let's go down and simply issue read requests every four cycles. So we just change the code, save it. And now to simulate again, we simply hit the play button again. So you can see the simulation time window pops up again. And again, it says 10 microseconds. Uh, that is because it always saves the value that was last entered into the field. So if you just want to simulate again without changing the time, you just click the button and hit enter. Then it'll simulate it through. This time, no need GDK wave window opens. So we just need to hit reload and voila. You can see the time between the reads has changed and we have our new simulation result. Not much more complicated than with model sim. The only difference is that here you click the play button over here and enter simulation time instead of doing it uh, over in model sim itself. Also note, if you close GTK wave at any point in time, 
and start the simulation again now, it will detect the GTK wave closed and reopen it. Alright, so next video will be about compiling and setting up the program along with GHDL, GTK wave and SIGASI. See you until then.